This is the engineering of the F-117 Nighthawk, with a simple but revolutionary shape. The F-117's journey begins at the desk of Ben Rich, newly appointed director of Skunk Works, taking over from the famous Kelly Johnson. A Russian scientific paper, translated by the U.S. Air Force's Foreign Technology Department, held the key to a new generation of fighter aircraft. The war on airplanes is an ever-evolving game of cat and mouse, and over the past decade, airplanes have switched roles from predator to hunted. The Soviet Union's development of radar-guided missiles surprised the U.S. defense industry, especially after the Yom Kippur War in 1973. Israeli pilots, equipped with modern attack aircraft America, lost 109 aircraft in just 18 days. Most of these aircraft were shot down by surface to air missiles provided by the Soviet Union to the Egyptian and Syrian armies. This missile system is much cheaper than training a fighter pilot and is quickly deployed. Soviet Air Force planners predicted that with a high attrition rate, they could wipe out the entire U.S. Air Force in just 17 days if there was a full-scale war in Eastern Europe. In response, the U.S. developed a strategy to design aircraft capable of flying at low altitudes, following the terrain to avoid radar, leading to the birth of the B-1 Lancer with changeable wings to adapt, with both low altitude and high speed flight. However, this strategy was challenged when Dennis Overhauser, a prominent scientist, gave Ben Rich a complex technical document containing equations and theories on electromagnetic wave refraction. This document opens a new approach to stealth aircraft design. Invisibility is not a new concept. The SR-71 flew more than 10 years before the F-117, using optical reflection principles to reduce radar signatures. However, Dennis's paper helped solve the complexities of electromagnetic wave refraction, opening up a new era for stealth aircraft design. Electromagnetic waves are more complex than ocean waves, and calculating their refraction is very difficult. The document, unknown to the Soviet Union, allowed the United States to develop advanced technology, bringing stealth aircraft to the forefront of military aviation. Ben Rich, the newly appointed leader of Skunk Works, under pressure to continue Kelly Johnson's legacy, approved a computer program called Echo One. This program, developed over three months, allowed the analysis of simple shapes and paved the way for the design of the F-117 Nighthawk. The F-117, which began as a simple diamond shape without wings, control surfaces, thrust or payload, became a revolutionary stealth design thanks to the expertise of Dennis Overhauser. This design prioritizes stealth and is equipped with two internal weapons bays to carry laser-guided bombs. The aircraft also has an infrared sensor turret and navigation system to help target with high precision. The F-117 relies on stealth to avoid radar, leaving it completely defenseless against aerial threats. At subsonic speeds, it avoids creating sonic booms and minimizes aerodynamic temperatures, limiting the possibility of being detected by infrared guidance systems. The General Electric J85 engine was selected for the F-117, later upgraded to the F-404 engine from the F-A-18 Hornet. To enhance stealth, the engine intake is designed with angled and radar reflective mesh, along with a radar absorbent material RAM, coating that covers the entire surface of the aircraft. The F-117's screened air intake reduces rebound pressure which is the ratio between the pressure at the intake exit and the pressure in the free air stream. Reducing recovery pressure means reducing engine thrust. To compensate, the air intakes can open at low power settings to increase airflow, but cannot open during flight. They open automatically below Mach 0.5 and gradually close as the plane accelerates. The aircraft is also equipped with an anti-icing system which includes windshield wipers that spray an anti-icing mixture to prevent ice from accumulating on the intake grills. The engine's air outlet switches from a round tube to a rectangular flat tube to cool the exhaust gases and distribute them over a wider area. This helps the exhaust mix with the environmental air more quickly and minimizes the heat signature. The exhaust extension known as the platypus tail is also covered by ceramic tiles that absorb heat and are continuously cooled by air. 
However, this design caused some stability problems, which were only discovered during test flights. The thrust of the engine nozzles can be asymmetrical, with an angle difference of up to 8 degrees in some flight conditions, leading to aircraft control problems. Asymmetrical thrust can cause the F-117 to veer to one side, especially when siding. Siding occurs when the relative wind does not match the aircraft's direction of travel, typically occurring during takeoff and landing with crosswinds. During test flights, the flight computer used a horizontal accelerometer to measure SID slip, but asymmetric thrust created a spurious SID slip signal, leading to positive feedback of instability. This problem was overcome by using a static beta sensor to measure the actual SID slip. With the selected engine and load capacity, the aircraft wing needs to be designed accordingly. Factors to consider include sweep angle, leaf design, dihedral angle, and blade area. The wing sweep angle, i.e., the angle it leans back, is usually determined by the aircraft speed. Slower civilian aircraft like Cessnas do not need swept wings because they do not fly near supersonic speeds. The rear tilted wing increases the critical Mach number, allowing the aircraft to fly faster before encountering the supersonic airflow. For example, the Boeing 787 has a wing sweep angle of 32 degrees, while supersonic fighters have a larger sweep angle to optimize high-speed flight. To avoid oblique shock waves from the nose and fuselage intersecting with the wings, the F-117 has a very large wing sweep angle, up to 72.5 degrees. This sweep angle reduces lift, requiring larger wings. The wing area of the F-117 is 72 square meters, large compared to the maximum takeoff weight of 23,800 kilograms. This compares to the F-15, which has a higher maximum takeoff weight but a smaller wing area, suggesting the F-15 can generate more lift with smaller wings. Large scanning angles also cause altitude instability. If the F-117 tilts more than 17 degrees, it will be difficult to lower altitude, causing loss of control of the aircraft. To fix this, an automatic control surface was added, allowing for height adjustment. However, in testing, this caused a problem, causing the plane to crash near the runway. The F-117 featured many improvements over the prototype, including replacing the internal control fins with larger outward-facing fins, increasing controllability. The final design of the F-117 featured larger fins, which gave the aircraft better control at high angles of attack, and two control surfaces on each wing for increased stability and performance. The F-117's control surfaces have been adjusted to increase altitude control. The wing sweep angle decreased from 72.5 degrees to 67.5 degrees, still an extremely high level for a subsonic aircraft, helping to increase lift and reduce drag. The fuel tank is located above and behind the main weapons compartment, with a total capacity of 8.2 tons of JP-8 fuel, allowing a flight range of 1,720 kilometers. As a result, aircraft require frequent mid-air refueling, as during the flight from Langley Air Force Base to Saudi Arabia in. Operation Desert Storm took 15 hours and required seven refuelings. The F-117 is not suitable for takeoff and landing on aircraft carriers due to its poor low-speed flight characteristics. The F-117 was the first truly stealth aircraft, but this technology has now become standard, allowing targets to be struck from long distances before being detected. The B-2 Spirit is the next step in stealth technology, and although we don't have video of it, details can be found on other sources. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and sub the channel to update more interesting videos.